How's that? Is that is that okay? Is that focus good? Welcome to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. Today we have a little surprise for you, but before I introduce our special surprise, I'd like to reintroduce Jackie Lawrence. Jackie, to my immediate right, Jackie Lawrence is an actress. Actor, is that the term you use in New Actor. York? <laughs> Jackie, you also have made an amazing contribution to this book of martinis. You created this special <laughs> martini. Would you tell our viewers a little more about that? Sure. Um, I just came out in a book called um, Top 10 Martinis Miami Style. And okay. it's actually pretty cool. There's a bunch of little anecdotes in it, um, personal ones that the author wrote up. And um, there's also, he chose 10 bartenders from Miami and had them all concoct um, some type of martini. And this is your own creation? Yes. And you promised to make us some of that? Yeah, I need to bring in virgin. some ingredient. We're all virgin, virgin types. I'm no gonna alcohol. show you the real one after, okay? okay? okay. After yoga. <laughs> we'll get our pint of wellness when you come next time. Yes, absolutely. Welcome back to the show, <laughs> Jackie. You. I'm so glad you made it in time. I'm gonna save this gentleman to the last. As I'd like to make a few acknowledgements first. Thanks to our director, Josie and Hurd, on camera, we have Carol Lewis and our facilitators, Deshaun Pretlow and Richard Swanson. This episode has been made possible. We tape this episodes, these episodes in the studios of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Our facilitators are responsible for all the studio lights, the gobos, the sound system. Everything has been made possible because of the amazing teamwork. Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios. 35. We'd like to remind our viewers that every now and then we get special guests on our program. Do not miss this opportunity to speak with our guests to get free consulting services. We have wellness experts who will come on our show from time to time. And with that, I'd like to introduce you to a very new face to our show, but not new to either yoga or to personal training. Personal trainer, Rodan Sturm. Hi there. Hi. Rodan, it is... Wonderful to have you on the show. We've been promising our viewers for a long time what is the connection between yoga and gym. But before you do that for us, would you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, yes, um, my name is Rudan. I'm uh, Australian. And um, I can grew up in Australia. Can you tell? You can tell. <laughs> can you tell by the accent? Um, I grew up in Australia, um, originally from Switzerland. Right. And I've been in New York for about a year and a half now, um, running gyms. So um, I have a... Running in gyms and running gyms. Running gyms and running in gyms. <laughs> Making others run in That's right. Gyms. <laughs> um, so I've got a long, long background with health and fitness. Um, you know, starting off when I was about 13, my mother used to take me to Ashtanga Yoga as a 13-year-old. Wow. So all the other kids were doing parties. Mm. Yeah, you're and my a mother, great teenager. Yeah, wow. And my mother was like, nope, you're coming with me into a heated room. It's like 100 degrees. Right, hot yoga. To do Ashtanga. I was like... Yeah, so that was my introduction to yoga. Awesome. 
And, Did you uh, realize at that time that Ashtanga Yoga was a term used in the United States more for the physical aspect, but Hatha Yoga is really the physical part of yoga? Well, it's a bit getting corrected now. It certainly was physical. <laughs> it was, I'm sure, yeah. It definitely hurt. How did you get into gym personal training? Um, well, I studied exercise science okay. yeah, at university right. and, in, Australia? Um, in Australia, and that's a four-year degree, right. which gave me a very good grounding in biomechanics, anatomy, physiology, right. and kind of stuff that we can talk about today. That would be wonderful. Um, and then I kind of took that into a practical application, which was kind of personal fitness training, which I still do now and um, kind of been coming up with my own little creations and you know once you understand the body it's very easy to apply it to any kind of activity right so regardless right. of if it's yoga or personal training or right. anything if you understand what the body does and how the muscles work exactly. you make up your own creations. Right. Right. Yeah. so as a personal trainer you do help people understand the external uh, muscle groups Absolutely. tendons whatever and we're of course, hopefully we'll get an endocrinologist coming on to tell us what happens, what juices are released when we get into those postures. But when we talk about the muscle groups, do you also focus on the tendon stretching? Because in yoga, that we deal a lot with tendon stretching. Yeah. We, okay. Absolutely. Well, That's tendon it. stretching is, um, is probably definitely part of the stretching process. Right. Tendons uh, go from bone to bone. Right. So okay. they attach bones to bones. Ligaments attach muscles to bones. All right. Okay. So there's a slight difference there. And when right, you do a right. stretch uh, into a certain degree of motion, right. you start to stretch the muscle a lot, and then from there you start to stretch the ligament. So ah. tendons are getting a stretch, but probably not as much as the muscles and the ligaments, ligaments. that attach the muscles okay. to the bones. I'm so glad you yeah. pointed out that distinction because I've always It's a very simple way to look pressure. at it. It is. That's wonderful. So tendons connect bone, bone to, to bone. bone. Ligaments connect bone muscle to muscle, to bone. muscle to bone. Yeah. So when do we release those happy juices called endorphins? Is it when the ligaments <laughs> stretch or when the tendons stretch? Well, both, because okay. both stretch at the same time. Oh, right. But okay, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's probably pretty difficult to stretch your muscles and ligaments without your tendons doing something. Right, right. Yeah, okay. but they're probably a secondary function. The endorphin release is a chemical reaction that happens in your body to that. Not only to stretching, but to exercise in general. Right. So lifting the heart rate up and down um, but as well. But how understand that we talk about adrenaline release and endorphin release. Mm -hmm. Now, adrenaline is a kind of a rush that you get. That's right. Is it when you do an intense activity and in yoga, would it be more an endorphin release? How, does, yeah, how do you distinguish well, between the two? Adrenaline, they say that if, uh, if you're frightened, Ah, or you know, a thing. tiger jumps out from behind a bush and right. frightens you, and you're so you're risking your life. It's a right. it's a response that's been with us for thousands of years. Okay. That makes you able to do crazy fast reactions in a short period. And so it's, like, it's a survival go. instinct. Ah, uh, so but still people go after it. They go on these rides. <laughs> but that's that what they rush. like. That's what they're after. Wow. And that's why they have to keep doing more and more crazy stuff in right. order to reach that same high. Yeah. And they don't believe yoga can take them to those levels yet. Yet. After but you today. know what, they probably started with yoga. <laughs> yeah, and they got so the yoga endorphin. Yoga is for everything. And then, you know, we're all going to end up base jumping. <laughs> <laughs> well, just so viewers know, please feel free to come and stretch with us whenever you have some time. Because as Rodan just explained, it can be an amazing experience. What we do is we just use, we take you in and out very safely through a simple sequence called 48 plus, so very simple, basic stretches. We have a postcard for you, which we will give you if and only if you come on the show. We'll also give you a fridge magnet. And we have a copy of my third title, Yoga Secrets, which is right now in Tatas, has eight plus two ailment specific cards. So what we do is we separate the postures. We isolate them to help you target different regions of the body. Hopefully that will address different common ailments that we all struggle from, from time to time. We'll give you all of this if you come on the show. Stick this on your fridge, the fridge magnet, put this in your briefcase or bag, and keep the book with you for as long as you want it. Just don't give yourself or us any excuses not to stretch. Radan, if, with your permission, yeah. we are going to start, we're going to start with the sun salutation today, and while we are stretching, I hope you will join us while we're stretching. Absolutely. I would like you to get out of the posture while we both, Jackie and I, will hold it and maybe point out with Jackie, because Jackie is also closer to the camera and she's amazing in those postures. Please feel free to point out on Jackie which muscle groups are actually being targeted 
when we are in certain stretches. Absolutely. But feel free to join us. Sarah Torres, welcome back, Sarah. I'm glad you were able to make it. Yeah, I was cutting it close, but I made it. <laughs> Sarah's a very familiar face on the show, Yoga Express. Sarah has been, she dropped out of off our radar for a couple of months, but she's back with us. I'm so happy to have you back, Sarah. Thank you. It's glad to be back. It is wonderful to have you. You made it just in time. Actually, Rodan, do you have those magic shoes on your feet? I do. I would like to point out, right now Sarah has her socks on, but she always makes sure she wears socks with rubber dots. Rodan yeah. has these fancy, what do you call them? Well, just kind of barefoot running shoes. Barefoot running shoes. So yeah. if you really have to keep your toes covered when you're stretching in yoga, feel free to use shoes uh, the way, either the ones that Sarah used to have with rubber dots or these barefoot shoes, as I call them. And it's like a good fashion them. statement also. It's a good fashion <laughs> statement, right. You want to make sure you have traction on the mat. But the reason we typically like to, we choose to stretch bare feet on the yoga mats is, and I'm sure Rodan will agree as a personal trainer, we have 72,000 nerves that end in the soles of our feet and the palms of our hands. So every time the palms and the feet make contact with the floor, we are energizing all the glands and organs that those nerves lead to. So I haven't counted the 72,000. I'm, I'm going by what the books say that a human we'll body take your word has. For it. Well, not my word. <laughs> you have to go Google them. But I understand that the human body has 72,000 nerves that end in. Uh, the soles of our feet and the palms of our hands. So we have, we need to close in a little bit. We're all going to stand up. And I think our, ca uh, Sarah, maybe you want to just pull your mat in a little bit. Our camera person is having a bit of difficulty getting us all in. We sort of discounted you, Sarah, because you came a little late. Oh, I know. I no, I'm so good. I'm kidding. It was <laughs> lovely to have you back. Sarah is also an up-and-coming author. She has this book, Something for Everyone. Yes. Right? We're going to have you tomorrow. Sarah, I want you to tell our viewers one more time a little more about your book. OK, cool. Excellent. OK, here's what we're going to do. Rodan, you're very tall. I'm short. So Sarah, you're not short, but maybe we'll stagger ourselves in Jackie, and then we'll change places later. Heels are together. Toes apart, palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised. Close your eyes for just a moment. Watch your body from the inside. Know whether your body sways to the left or to the right. We all have our imbalances. Feel free to acknowledge them. Namaskar Asan, prayer posture. Inhale, take your arms all the way. Open your eyes now. Wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Hasta Uttana. Hasta is hands, Uttana is raised. Remember, in the studios, our holding times are longer than usual. That's so we can teach you. Exhale, fold from the hip. Keep your back nice and straight. The first round, Radan, mm -hmm. we're going to let you enjoy it. And so we're going to do three rounds of sun salutation. In the second and third, feel free to move around and you know, a point out on Sarah and Jackie. And well, me too, but I don't think you'll find much muscle, very <laughs> toned muscle groups on me. You should feel a beautiful, delicious stretch in your hamstrings in the back of your legs. Pada hasta, this posture is called pada hasta. Pada is feet, hasta is hands, literally hands to feet. Now, place your palm six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and then the right. Rodan, since you have been uh, to yoga classes at the age of 13 with your mom, you'll recognize this. Guess what this posture is called? Okay. Downward dog. That's right, Jackie. Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Adho. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time, right? <laughs> This posture, when I first started practicing yoga, my teacher would say this is a wonderful rest posture, and I was suffering in it. So I'd say, yeah, right, that's not rest. But now I've learned to enjoy it. Adho is down or downward. Mukha is face or facing. Shwana is dog. Keep exhaling through the belly. Dip your head between the biceps and hold. Now when you're ready, inhale. Bring the left foot between the hands. And if your foot doesn't come forward in the first go, feel free to use your hands. And Rodan, if you want, halfway through while I'm calling out to, feel free. You can say, oh, don't bring your knees too far sure. out or whatever you sure, think sure. is safe. In yoga, we take a few liberties. Let's come off. Let's ease off. Place both your hands on your palm. Ashwa Sanchala. Ashwini is horse. Ashwa Sanchala, like a horse or equestrian. 
Please bring your elbows out to the side, palms are on the left knee. Your toes are uncurled. Remember, when your toes are curled in, you can do that if you want. Feel free to keep your toes curled in. It helps you hold yourself in place without falling off. As we grow older, the kneecap has a synovial fluid, correct me? Correct. It's a kind of a lubricant between the knee, uh, behind the kneecap, which starts to dry up as we grow older. So when you keep your toes curled in, there's more pressure on the knees. So as we grow older, in my case anyway, I like to keep the tops of my feet flat. Elbows are out, that it's helps me stay in the mood. <laughs> it is. But you can, if you feel strong enough, that's fine. It helps you stay balanced with your toes curled in. Now, left knee is up, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee. Watch how Sarah's got her elbow all the way over. Now, we all have different anatomical proportions. So Sarah is very comfortable doing that. So is Jackie. Once you're, and so is Radan. So am I the only one here? <laughs> Come Place on. your left palm on top of your right. Parsva Kona Namaskara. Parsva is intense. Kona is corner or angle. Namaskara is prayer. Intense prayer twist. Look up at your raised elbow and hold. Keep exhaling. And breathing? Breathe, yes, don't forget. So do you have to breathe in also? Well, actually, when you're in a twist, it's a good idea to exhale more than breathing in because it's... But eventually it's you have to breathe in. Oh, that happens. Inhale that's happens. Something. Inhale happens. <laughs> let's inhale. Let's come out of that. Place both your palms beside the left foot. Curl your toes in and the right foot. Lift your right knee off. Take your left to meet the right. Now, this is a part of plank position or danda asana. Typically, girls don't seem to like that. Sarah is an exception. Jackie, you like this posture? I don't love it. Uh, no, that's right. Well, it takes I hate a lot it. of, takes so much shoulder strength. It that, does, exactly. You know, that's... we should stop talking and move on. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no we have to have holding times. Knees, chest, and chin to the floor. <laughs> Exhale. Before we dip, ashtanga namaskara, ashtanga, eight limbs, ashta is eight, anga is limbs, eight limbs that touch the floor. The hands, two hands, two knees, two feet, chin and chest. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra, the tops of your feet flat on the floor. Now you want to press with the tops of your feet. Inhale, lift yourself up. Lift your chin and chest up. Now. Engage your low back muscles, and when you're ready, take your palms off of the floor. Now, place your palms back, curl your toes in, forehead to the ground, inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Inhale, bring your right foot between the hands, and then the left. Place your palms together. Now it is eight plus four repeats. So now you know the names of all the postures. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Are you ready for the second round? Yes. Because we're at Radan's mercy now. Oh, While yeah. the rest of us hold the postures, Radan will go around correcting us, making sure that we are actually not necessarily just stretching safe, but also feeling the strengthening in our bodies as well. So Radan, we're at mm -hmm. your mercy. So I'm going to call out. Feel free. You can either get in the postures and then come out and correct us. I'll Heels start together. With you. <laughs> okay. Heels together. Toes slightly apart. Inhale. Take your arms all the way up. Exhale. Fold from the hip. Palm six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the right leg back this time and then the left. Exhale. Press your heels all the way down. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. I think we escaped Radan's no, no, scrutiny. <laughs> I'm observing. Uncurl your toes on the left foot. Ease off just a little bit. Both palms on your right knee. So bring your elbows out. In this position, there's actually um, a very good opportunity to stretch out uh, what is called the hip flexor, which is this muscle at the front. Okay. And you probably feel it there already, a quite, quite a good stretch. But the way you get a bigger stretch is that you um, activate your, your butt cheek on the same side of the leg that's at the back. So if you really squeeze your butt on the left leg, you'll actually feel a bigger stretch at the front. Oh, that's interesting. Because uh, muscles work agonist and antagonist, which means that there's a muscle at the front of the body and the muscle at the back of the body. And if you're strengthening one, 
the other one will be relaxing. So uh, in this sense, if you squeeze this butt cheek, right, the other. you can get a more of a stretch into that one. Okay. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll keep bending into the lower back right. without getting an effective stretch here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so, so we've got to remember that. Tip number Wonderful. one. Tip number one. Take like your notes, that. you guys. Now, inhale, right knee is up. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over your right knee. Place your right palm on your left. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Feedback, Radha? Looks perfect. Oh, okay. so God, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, let's come out of that. Place both palms beside your right foot. Curl your toes in in the left foot. Lift your left knee off. Take your right to meet the left in Radan's favorite posture, plank position. Wonderful. Knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Exhale. Well done, Victor. <laughs> Dip. <laughs> No, you're not. If you can move, you can stretch. Inhale, glide out into cobra. And if you hold this one, I've got a tip number two. Oh, good. Yeah. Here you're using your arms and your hands to take right. the pressure off your lower back. Right, exactly. Which is a safe way to do the cobra position. Okay. When you now lift your arms up off the floor, right. so go ahead, so you lower down a little bit, lift the arms up, you're automatically taking the pressure from the arms and the upper body into the lower back. Lower back so right. in this position, once again, activate your glutes, your buttocks, to help protect that lower back because you want to use the butt in with the lower back. Can we put our hands down now? <laughs> no, five more seconds. Let me get into the posture. Four, oh, okay. Three. That's it's just like surfing. Tip. Well, you can feel the glute activation right. keeps you up there. Three, so two, one. Moving on. <laughs> Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground. That's a wonderful tip. Curl your toes in. Inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Inhale, bring your left foot between your hands and then the right. Place both your palms together. And even in this position, it's okay to bend your knees slightly. Right, okay. Yeah. Isn't shaking a really good thing when you <laughs> shake? That's what you I, I heard. Shake them out. No, like when you automatically start shaking in yoga or anything, really. Oh, I don't know because heard... I. Well, Radan, please correct me if I'm wrong. What we well, should say we stand up we... first? <laughs> <laughs> Inhale. Come on. We could do a whole uh, lecture down in that position. Exhale and release. <sighs> Actually, that's a good question. When you talk about shaking, what kind of shaking are you talking about? You like, mean try like trying to get in? Automatically start like. You know, when you shake, when you're trying to do a split. Yeah. Kind of a reaction, I've heard that, that that's a good thing. In dance. Oh, yeah, like shaking. Well, it's, it's We call them chakras. <laughs> okay. I mean, the physiological part of it is basically that when you're really well trained at something, you don't have that shaking anymore. Mm -hmm. Because the muscles, when they contract, there's like um, two filaments, a head and a tail, and they contract like that. So when you do a muscle contraction, they lock in really tight. So the more you train a muscle, the stronger you can make that connection of your okay. muscle filaments. So if we're not as trained, the connection is not as strong, right. and they're trying to reconnect, and that's the shaking. Oh. Oh, okay, so it's not a, a chakra as necessary. I mean, maybe it comes from the chakra. <laughs> no, no, actually, are we sweating yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I can feel that <laughs> already because we've been holding for so long, but that's yeah. not the same as the shaking that Jackie mentioned and that you clarified. But also, it just all goes like, hand in hand. <laughs> <laughs> we call the chakras kind of an internal sweating because what happens is the human body has about seven major chakras between the pelvic region. Wherever we have glands and organs, we're said to have chakras. The extremities, the upper and lower extremities, have no chakra, well, not major ones. So we have seven major chakras, and the energy center, chakras are energy centers, wheels of energy, they're vortices of energy. So the more we stretch, the more the energy builds up and we feel warmed up. And because we're stretching from what we like to call stretching from the inside, that's when we feel that warm up. But this shaking, I'm sure we all, I feel it in the plank position because I feel I'm yeah, not strong too, enough. Yeah, me too, Or if I'm trying to do a split. Right. Oh, wow. It happens all the time. Oh, it happens to me all the time when I do right. splits. <laughs> so we want to be careful. We, got, we have about four minutes left. So this time we're going to race through the posture two more times. Literally, viewers at home, please know, this posture, this sequence, sun salutation, can be practiced at home like a fluid dance motion in 60 seconds. Heels together, toes apart. Inhale, take your arms all the way up. Actually, Jackie and Rodan, if you want to come forward this time, Sarah and I will stagger back. Mm -hmm. Exhale, fold from the hip. Palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take your left leg back, 
and then the right. Exhale, dip your heels all the way down. In the third round of sun salutation, we'll do both sides within one cycle. Keep exhaling and breathe, and uh, dip your head between your biceps. Inhale, bring your left foot between your hands. Place your right knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes on the right foot and let's ease up. Both palms on the left knee. Exhale and dip. Did you ask us to be careful about in this posture about something? Absolutely. Make sure that you activate your left right butt cheek. That's right. right. Okay. Otherwise, you hyperextend into the lower back. Ah, okay. So you'll feel a bigger stretch before the back starts to ache. If your back starts to ache, you've gone too far. That's a very good point. I'm actually trying it now, and you're right. It doesn't have that. I don't feel that much pressure on the low back. Yeah. Oh, wonderful tip. Thank you. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. Dip the right elbow over the left knee. Place your left palm on top of the right. Raise your left elbow. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. And as Radan reminded us, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Keep exhaling when and you're balance. in these twists. <laughs> it helps, definitely. Inhale. Let's come out of that. Both palms beside the left foot. Curl your toes in and the right foot. Lift your right knee off. Take the left, as Jackie did, to meet the right. Knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Exhale and dip. And then tip number two, Rodan and Cobra. Yes, once again, as you lift up with your arms, it's okay, but eventually when you take your hands off the floor, try and activate your buttocks again to help your lower back. Uh, okay. Yeah. Place your palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in, inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands and then the left. Place both palms together. Inhale, was there a third tip in this one? Let's come up all the way. Did you mention a third one? Um, Exhale and release. That's right, we're talking about the shaking. Oh, that's right. The forward fold and the shake. We're really shaking now. <laughs> <laughs> we have the other side to do, so let's not feel imbalanced as we go home. We have just one minute, so it's just two rounds. Inhale, take your arms all the way up. We're going to race through. Exhale, fold from the hip. Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the right leg back and then the left. Exhale, dip your heels all the way down. Keep breathing. Dip your head between your biceps. Inhale, bring your right foot between your hands. Left knee is on the floor. Uncurl your toes on the left foot. While we're holding this position, I'd like to thank our director, Josie and Hurd. On camera, we have Carol Lewis. Deshaun Pratlow and Richard Swanson, our facilitators, responsible for all these studio lights and the sound system. On behalf of Sarah Torres, Rodan Stern, our special guest for today and a personal trainer. And if you want to contact Rodan, his email will be up in just a moment, his website and his contact details. And on behalf of Jackie Lawrence, this is Banu Suresh signing off. You are watching Yoga Express. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right, place the right palm on top of the left, look up at the raised elbow and hold. Inhale, bring both hands beside the right foot. Curl your toes in in the left, lift your left knee off, take the right to meet the left. Knees, chest and chin to the floor. Exhale and dip. Inhale, come up into cobra. Engage your low back muscles, tighten your gluteals. Thank you, Radan, for that tip. You're welcome. Take your palms off of the floor. Palms back, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in, inhale. Lift your buttocks all the way up. Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands and then the right. Both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. I can actually feel myself sweating. Josiana, our director, and uh, Carol Lewis, they usually give us a minute extra. Do you